could be good. I think it could really help the team in future games. Box to box, box midfielder is exactly what we've been needing, I think. So that the boy from Partick Thistle should do well for us, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we we haven't really been doing that much passing. It's normally just lobbing it up. So I think passing. We haven't beaten Edinburgh City yet. Are you confident? Yeah. I, th- I think we could win today. Uh, yeah, with the, with the new signings, I think we can win. We've made two new signings. Do you think anyone can be um, good? Prince, yeah, yeah. I think he's going to get the opportunity to get the first team. Score prediction for today's game? 3-1. I thought the Pro's game was fantastic. Considering the conditions, it was good to see us getting the ball down, try and play a bit of our football. I'll never stop talking about McCabe's goal, but we going to Benny's as well. I mean, for a team goal on the conditions, that was outstanding. We've never played well up there, so it's great to just break that hoodoo with them and get the win, but it can lead as well into this game. It's looking good for us now, new faces in the door. Um, so I happy days to be a diamond and now, hopefully three points a day and I think it will be four nothing diamonds. We have some options off the bench today, which is quite yep. good, because it's been the first time we haven't really had any options off the bench. Uh, I was like, just saying that to Abby on the way in, in fact, Lewis, uh, it's, it's good to look at our bench and see where we can make a change in the game. Um, interesting to see Bright getting the, the signature, I'm actually quite Aye. excited about that. He's a young laddie, so a lot of folk look back to Cumbernauld. You remember he was still probably half six months younger there, but I've seen him in the youth team and <laughs> see if that ball drops to him. God help that goalkeeper try to stop it because he's got something behind him. So, ah, good. It's good to see. And then obviously we're excited about Stanway. Party Vassal fans are a bit disappointed to see him go. So that can only be good for him too. And it's the difference between hanging on in games to us suddenly looking over our bench and making changes in games, changing the way our game's going. So we're going to have that holding midfielder there and then that'll give us the option to push Frizz on, push Telfer on. And we seem to when Cho's come back to that, how good having Telfer in a forward position is. Yeah. Total different player. Hi, quite excited. I'm looking forward to today's match. First game of the new year. A couple of new players in the game. Prince has come up for the development, so um, hopefully he can get 12 goals for the season. He's on a lovely already, so um, Edinburgh are a tough side. Um, I'm glad we're here and over there because it's like too bad away from the pitch to watch it. But uh, it should be a good game. I think with Edinburgh, they've, they've got a lot of good players in there. Callum Tappen and players like that are, are strong players they have been playing for a while. When they played the last game here, we were it was quite even in the first half and in the second half, we kind of let ourselves in. But Scottish football is funny. You can have two brilliant teams and you never know who's going to win. You go. So I think 3 1 for us today. So. Half an hour into the game, Douglas, thoughts so far? Uh, we slowed the pace down the last sort of five, ten minutes when we really shouldn't have. Uh, got to keep our foot on the pedal a bit and keep connecting the passes, keep connecting the good play. Lewis was just saying Cammy's had a good game, but I think nobody's really put a foot, a foot wrong yet. Um, Linus hasn't had all that much to do, fortunately. Um, just got to keep trying to serve us, Smithy and Gal up front. Listen, I, I couldn't see it from back there. I don't know. It looks as if he has grabbed him back, but at the same time, I'll need, I'll need to look back on it. It's not. It's a harsh one, I think. I don't think it's having a penalty, and now they're back in the game because it had the game won. Now it's two weeks just like that, and we're going to have to fight for it now. So. I, we were looking pretty, uh, pretty decent at 2 0, and then. We seem to just take completely take a foot off the gas. Uh, the Edinburgh couldn't, couldn't get near us at all. We were picking and probing away at them, playing great football. That's just like that, it's two weeks now, so just need the lads to regroup, come back out the second half. And if we play football like that, I'm sure we're going to win the game. Through the last eight minutes to the second, first half, I don't really see where we go for here. I'd probably make a change and maybe go and bring around Stanway. Maybe get tell for the draft half a wee bit, so you don't really do much going forward. Apart from that, and we have the same play we did in the first half, again in the second half, the game's done. <laughs> oh, it did. Last eight minutes especially, you could see it progressing after the second goal. We just tap back deeper, deeper and deeper. Second three, I don't know much about the penalty. I, I'm hearing there wasn't much contact, but apart from that, 
line's just been dropping deeper, the three kicks summed it all up, we're pretty much on a running goal line when it went in, so, I uh, know, but it's been like that all season with set pieces, we don't put men on post and there's never ending on with the back post, and again, that exact instance happened a few times, it just takes a flick onto the back post and we never get MD on that man. <laughs> Stupid penalty to give away, but we've managed yeah. to get back into it second half. Smith's been really good today. I think. I mean, it's good to he could get a hat trick, but like, I, 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 it's not fun to watch. It's I don't like watching Dean Linus play football. <laughs> I don't like watching. <laughs> That's second yell. No. That's the first. Never mind. But, no, um, but it's, I hate watching Dean Linus play football. I feel bad for Jay Riley, but I, I, they just need to make a change now. Yeah. Lewis Jameson on, like he's on the bench for a reason. But, yeah. Speaking of which, Jameson's about to come on. <laughs> so you go, he called it for Gabby McGill. Here we go. Uh, that's still only two substitutions we've made, and we've made two new signings and not seen any of them yet. <laughs> I don't think Jake Riley having him on was the best idea considering we were winning 2-0 and now it's free each. So, but you never know. Lewis Jameson's a good player, maybe he might change it now. For, for free. How did we lose that game from 2-0 up? Well, I think Ref gave a nothing penalty. I'm not sure what that was for. And we just let them back into it. Terrible defending. A silly, silly red card. It was just a bit collapsed a bit in the end. We just can't seem to beat Edinburgh, unfortunately, because they, they showed absolutely nothing. We gave them, we gave them all, all of their goals. It seemed, it seemed like that every time we played them. I thought to, when we went two 0 up, absolutely cruising. Thought this might be the day we beat them, but don't know. Just can't beat Edinburgh.